Eight months after unilaterally suspending parliament, the constitution and seizing all powers for himself, Saeed announced that he's dissolving parliament three days after telling a national security council that he did not have the power to do so. The reason Saeed has dissolved parliament now is because an emboldened parliament today chose to convene in a session in which a majority voted to end emergency rule and cancel the emergency measures that Qais Saeed has put in place. Previously, the office of the parliament speaker struggled to gather enough MPs to constitute a majority. After Saeed declared his emergency rule eight months ago, he proceeded to detain MPs and drag them before military courts. Moreover, popular anger towards the parliament made many MPs hesitate to support the idea of a return to parliament. But eight months since Qais Saeed's coup, the economy has shown no signs of improvement. Instead, Fitch ratings downgraded Tunisia last week. Prices of basic goods have skyrocketed. Discontent is growing again. UAE and Saudi, who promised to support Saeed, have offered no financial assistance. Washington has expressed his displeasure with the coup on multiple occasions. And such is Saeed's concern over Washington's stance that he released some of his political opponents from jail last week ahead of a visit by the Deputy U.S. Secretary of State. Likewise, the EU has been notably loud regarding its insistence on a return to parliamentary democracy, constantly repeating it every time they meet Saeed. And it's in this context that Saeed fears that the parliamentary vote that ends emergency rule will receive international recognition that itself will put pressure on an army that is already hesitant in its support for the coup. The army has the power to unilaterally remove the security around the parliament building and reopen it for MPs to use. Whether the army does so is a different matter. But but Saeed doesn't want to leave anything to chance. This is why he blocked Zoom and Microsoft Teams to prevent MPs from holding the session. It's why he ordered police cars sent to the homes of some of the MPs. It's why he ordered his justice minister to open an investigation into MPs on charges of conspiring against the state. And it's why he's decided in a panic to announce suddenly that parliament is dissolved in order to crush any potential for this vote to inspire any momentum.